Hello friends, it's me and today is Darman Monday and we're gonna be watching a Darman video about an autistic kid who gets kicked out of a restaurant. Also, Darman is nominated for a Kids Choice Award, so go vote for him. Hey, it's okay, Dylan. Daddy is running late, but he's gonna be here soon. Loki, I'd be slamming my utensils waiting for my food too. Or maybe he's waiting for his dad. You know, sometimes the dad goes to get milk and never comes back. I hope that doesn't happen to him. Do you mind? I am terribly sorry my son just um, doesn't do well in loud environments. It wasn't loud until you two sat down. What do you mean loud? Bro, come on. You're at a restaurant. It's gonna be loud. There's music. There's people talking. Just because you and your wife have ran out of things to talk about and are forced to eat in silence doesn't mean you gotta blame it on the kid. Oh, he actually was there with his wife. <laughs> I was just making a joke. When you've been together that long, you run out of things to talk about, huh? I need to see the manager. Oh, he's one um, of those. Yeah, sure. Very well. Hey, it's okay, baby. We're gonna get the chicken fingers that you like, the way they're here, you know? It's your special night. <laughs> what happens if you take the spoon from him? Mr. Kinkle, is there a problem? There certainly is. We are trying to enjoy our meal, and we can't because that woman and her son are making all that racket. Sorry about that. You know, of all the sounds of the restaurant, the tapping of the spoon is the most annoying. Not as sorry as you're going to be if you don't move them to another table. Whoa! Sorry sir, this is the Darman studio. We only have two tables actually. So unless y'all wanna like switch, I've never heard of somebody complain about noise at a restaurant. Actually, there have been times where I wanted to complain about noise. I was at a restaurant trying to have a conversation with my friend and there's this party of like 12 people and then two of the girls were like very, very drunk and literally screaming. Every time I try to say something, it's just ah! Every like three minutes. I have never wanted to be a Karen so bad. Very well, Mr. Kinkle. Um, I'm sorry, but uh... Well, would you look at that? He put the spoon down. I don't hear no click clacking anymore. And I have to move you to a different table. But I reserved this table specifically for my son. He's autistic and needs the corner table to keep him calm and relaxed. Just give him a few minutes to adjust and I'll quiet right down. Apologies, but uh, we don't offer that option tonight. On your feet. What? Excuse me? Bro's acting like he's about to arrest her. Like, on your feet. If somebody spoke to me like that at a restaurant, I'm leaving. That is so rude. We're gonna get up and move tables, okay? Well, sucks. Here we are. No, I want the booth. This isn't gonna work. Well, your other option is to dine elsewhere. Yeah, I'm leaving one star. And Why I'm do we leaving. have to sit here? Take a guess. He's only acting that way because you brought us here where it's loud and busy. Sure. Autistic children require a specific environment to stay calm. That is why I reserve that table special. Well, you should have thought of that when, when you and your son disrupted Mr. Ginkle's dinner. Who Ginkles. <laughs> I'm gonna ginkle this fist in your face if you don't put me back at the other table. You can't just request to move somebody who's already sitting at a table. If that guy doesn't like it, why doesn't he move? If it's bothering you so much, go to another restaurant. I'm sure they got a 24-7 McDonald's. Mr. Ginkle is a very important customer in our restaurant. Mm, I didn't let him disrupt his dinner. I was working on soothing him when you moved us. Well, maybe it's not the noise or the table. It's your inability to to control your son. Ooh. Fine. This guy's like a Karen made manager. I'm the final Karen boss. You can't just talk to your customers like that. Unless you love getting one star reviews. My husband will be joining us, but he's running late. Hmm. I'll make sure he finds your table. Hey, what? Yeah, there's literally four tables in this Get restaurant. Get them in and out of here as soon as possible. And I mean it. He called the bouncer? Evening, here are your menus. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna wait for my husband before we order. Uh, look, can you just order now? The quicker I get you both out of here, the less my boss is gonna ride me. Excuse me? Yeah, personally, I would not want to stay at a restaurant where everybody was trying to get me to leave. I don't care how good the food is. We 
believe this? What kind of a mother lets her son behave that way? Agreed. It's very rude. I mean, if you can't keep your kid quiet, why would you bring him to a place like this? Selfish. It's very selfish. Yeah, it's very selfish asking somebody to move. Like, she just said her kid was autistic. Like, shut up, Karen. Have a drink or two. She even got the Karen cut. They must be so much fun. Dylan, it's okay. Shh. <laughs> Miss, if you can't control your child, I'm gonna have you removed from the restaurant. I'm trying, I- Try harder! You can't just yell at her. <laughs> Thank you. And if he acts up again, Kicking you out of here. The disrespect on this dude is making me so mad. It's just acting. It's just acting. Oh, another time I wanted to go full Karen, but I didn't was when the table next to us had an iPad kid and they were watching Baby Shark and it was the same thing, just Baby Shark to do 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 like the entire hour and a half we were there, just on repeat. That's the only thing that they were watching, like the 24 hour Baby Shark compilation. I didn't say nothing though, cause it's like, what am I gonna say? The child can't watch Baby Shark, like I'm gonna get annoyed, but I'm not gonna say anything. Looks like the iPad's a better mother than she is. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So, we are uh, ready or? I can't wait to see how the iPad kids come out. We are. Uh, my son is looking forward to the chicken fingers on a hamburger bun with honey mustard and lettuce. Yeah, uh, we don't do custom orders here like that. Oh, we've had it before. I called earlier and asked if, if it was okay. Are you calling me a liar? <laughs> what? No, no, not at all. I, it's just... That's the only way Dylan will eat the chicken fingers, and because of his autism, he has a very specific and narrow diet. Is there diet. another problem over here? No. Yes, I... there is. She's calling me a liar. What kind of restaurant do they talk to you like this? <laughs> this has got to be in L.A. What happened? The customer's always right. You're calling me a liar! Honestly, at this point, she's asking for everything. Everything that she's going to get, she deserves it because she stayed. I would have left so quick. That's it. I'm gonna have to like, ask you to leave. Every I will other not place have got customers belittling our staff. I am not belittling him. I am only saying that I called earlier about a custom meal and I was told that it wasn't a problem. I've heard enough. I want you to leave right now. Ever since your son arrived here, you've been nothing but trouble. He ain't even doing trouble. nothing. He minding his own business. I only wanted to take my son to a nice restaurant for his 10th birthday. I don't want to hear anymore. I try to be nice to you. I want you to leave right now. He has not done anything to be nice. I really hope her husband is some like rich, famous dude. <laughs> oh, Mr. Is Dawkins, that him? There he is. it's so nice to see oh, you. Oh, wow. So, what do we owe this pleasure? I'm here to celebrate, actually. Oh, that's her husband. You know, honestly, that laugh was the most annoying thing I've heard all night. Way louder than the kids banging. <laughs> oh, exciting. You know, it's not often we have our esteemed owner. Just dining with us. I know. It's been too long since I've dropped in, but tonight is my son's birthday, and of all the restaurants I own, this one is his favorite. Ooh, girl, if that's your husband, then that means you also own the restaurant. You own a restaurant with horrible service. Like, how do they not know who the owner's wife is? It's like that show where the restaurant owner goes undercover to see what the employees are doing wrong. That is so wonderful. But know this. We are so glad to have you here. <laughs> well, this is great. So, um, when can we expect to see your son? Uh, he should already be here with his mother. I was running late and asked him to order for me, so. Oh, um, no one told me. Uh... Oh, no one told me. Oh, your son is that annoying little kid banging his spoon that we almost kicked out three times. Uh, e oh, yikes. yeah, my wife doesn't want to make a big deal about it, so I'm sure she didn't mention who she was. She has her hands full enough with our son. He's autistic and she moves mountains to keep him happy and safe. Oh, <laughs> so that's, uh, well, you know, uh, we, um, we have not uh, seen any boys with their mother being seated yet, so. Uh, what do you mean there's like four stuck people in this restaurant? Strange, she would have called me if she were running late. Emily? Oh, thank God. What's going on? What's wrong? You wouldn't believe what we've been through. Tell me. Well, first they made us move from the table in the corner that I reserved special for Dylan. Why? Some rude customer said that Dylan was making too much noise. Well, I'd be crying too. Then after they forced us to move, the same couple 
made rude comments about my abilities as a mother. Who said that to you? And then the manager threw us out when I tried to get Dylan's chicken fingers the way that he likes them when we come here. Ooh, just, let's let's fired. just wait a second Everybody here because I'm down. Like, Are you calling me a liar? The cook. Okay, let's just, can we just calm down here, okay? Nobody is calling anyone a liar. It's just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, we literally didn't know that your husband owns the restaurant. And by marital law, that means you also own the restaurants. When you go out of your way to be cruel to a person who's just trying to care for their child, that's not a misunderstanding. You know, for the past quarter, I've been debating whether or not we needed new management in this establishment. Thank you for making me see that it's long overdue. Sir? You're fired. I... Oh. You too. That dude looking around like, what did I do? I'd just be listening to him. I want you both out of here before I finish my next sentence. If I go. could just... Ooh. Let's go. You're done. All y'all are cooked. One moment, sweetie. I think it's best if you both leave this restaurant. <laughs> Look, we've been coming here for a very long time. And now it's time to find a new place to eat because you're both banned from eating at any of my restaurants Ooh. in the future. But you really ought to reconsider. Why? We really love eating here. <laughs> and I love my wife and son. Maybe you should have thought about that before you were so needlessly cruel to them. Ooh. Get you a man like that. Come on, son. Let's go celebrate your birthday. Yeah, he getting some cake later. <laughs> I ain't talking about the sun. <laughs> but anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.